And now it's time for development debates, where we explore some of the questions shaping the future and present of China. Today we are talking about Alibaba's public offering and how it affects Yahoo's current state of affairs. As the infamous Alibaba IPO nears, many facts of this offering are being discussed, one of which is the effect that this will have on Yahoo. In 2005, Yahoo founder Jerry Yang invested $1 billion in Alibaba. At the time, the Chinese internet company was basically unknown, but Alibaba founder Jack Ma had plans to make the company into one of the world's most successful Chinese companies, and now his dreams might be coming true. But along with that comes huge benefits for Yahoo. An article on MarketWatch.com explains if all goes according to plan, next week Yahoo will reap some serious rewards. Some analysts are even calling this Yahoo's golden ticket. Yet this is also believed to underscore the many issues Yahoo is facing in our ever-changing tech landscape. In the article, an IDC analyst named Crawford Delpret shares his praise. He notes that you have to give Jerry Yang credit for seeing the potential in Alibaba, and he luckily made an investment that will prove to be extremely successful. Sadly, Yang is no longer at Yahoo to bask in the victory. But Pratt argues that this so-called golden ticket has set Marissa Mayer, Yahoo's current CEO, an opportunity. She can further her vision to change the company. However, this is not as simple as it seems. Mayer will face a lot of pressure from this IPO. MarketWatch reports that many speculate shareholders' sole reason for remaining invested in Yahoo is because of Alibaba's stake. For example, in May, Wall Street's focus was not on Yahoo's continual struggles with competitors like Google, but when mentioning Yahoo, the media outlet emphasized Alibaba's numbers were great. Yet Alibaba and Yahoo have not had an exactly copacetic relationship. At one point, Yahoo owned 40% of Alibaba, which worried Ma when it was rumored that Microsoft would purchase Yahoo in 2008. The failed Microsoft perhaps highlights Alibaba and Yahoo's tensions. Then in 2011, Alibaba disclosed that Alibaba entirely transferred Alipay, their online web payment system, to Ma's control. Surprisingly, Yahoo did not even know about this until months later. Even more shocking, in 2001, Yahoo's CEO, Carol Bartz, was fired. Yang left the board and a new CEO was forced to step down because of lies on his resume. At this point, many began debating what to do with Alibaba's shares. Then, in May 2012, Yahoo sold half of its stake back to Alibaba and 10% of the remaining stake in an agreement when the company goes public. And now the company has a stake in the company worth $33 billion. Yahoo could leave with over $8 billion in gross proceeds when the 10% shares are sold. Del Pratt concludes that now the situation has flipped. Alibaba is no longer a small company looking for Western help. And at the same time, this public offering has only further highlighted Yahoo's tumultuous ride. It is important to note that this also has a large impact on Amazon. Many are waiting to see if investors will soon leave Amazon stocks to buy Alibaba stocks. Regardless of the millions of predictions in the oncoming Alibaba IPO, only time will tell what will really happen.